Sometimes when you run a chi-squared test for independence, you'll find a problem, and that problem is your sample size is too small. Often this is not the whole sample size, but it's in one of the categories. So here's an example I've got, which is um, looking at how different age people perceive the um, how prevalent domestic abuse is in the UK. Now, what you want to do is have 80% or more cases having above five people in each cell. That would be a really good way of doing things. So what we can do is look at this and go, well, we can see a lot of values which are below five. If you look at the 65 plus category straight away, that is nobody hits five. And if we look at the um, 15%, pretty much no one's hitting five either. When we look at the other areas, we have pretty healthy numbers apart from two there. But because it's quite a large test, that actually would be okay. So we've got to run this chi-squared test again, but we don't want the 15% because frankly, we can't tell the difference between people. There's not enough of a sample. And we don't want over 65s because there's just not enough of them in our sample. So we really are limiting our data, but it does mean that we can tell if people between 18 and 64 believe that the prevalence of domestic abuse in the UK against women is 30% or 65%. That is quite an interesting um, way of looking at things. So how do we do that? Actually, it is really simple. We go into um, our SPSS and we see here that the first row is called age. And if I click on the values, you'll see that we've got uh, number one, two, three, four, five, and six. Number six, the one we don't want. So all we do is go here to missing, click on our double icon, and we choose discrete missing. We type number six. That will just ignore number six from our data. Now let's have a look at the other one, the percentage of domestic abuse against women. And we look at our values. Again, we see number one is the... Um, uh, 15%. Now, I guess, interestingly, no one chose 50, so huh, that's quite an interesting thing to look at. So let's just take this and we go over here and we choose discrete value 1. So let's run this again. So analyze descriptives, cross tabulation. I've already put things in there, so I don't need to do it again. It's nice and simple. Click OK. And here we are. We've now got um, our data. So no one chose 50, which is interesting in itself. Um, but we see that everything is pretty good. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten cells, two of them are below, below five, which means 80% are five and above, which means that our sample size is now good enough. We can take this forward and have a look at things. So have a look, what do we find? Um, actually, our significance is 0.444, which means there is no statistically significant difference between age and how people estimate the prevalence of domestic abuse against women. So we can just stop there and not look at any further. But that skill of working out which data you want to remove, adding it as a discrete missing value is so useful and so important in any kind of analysis.